Hey, what's up guys? Tristan back again with another semen retention update. Day 59 of the hygiene challenge. Day 81 of actual semen retention. You know the fucking deal. If you can't do basic math, I don't know what to tell you. But if you watched my previous video, you should know by now what the fuck we on. But anyways, I'm back. And uh, yeah, kind of going to do an off-cuff video. Don't really know what I'm going to talk about, but I'm going to speak my mind. So... What I've been feeling on this journey is a lot of love. Um, mainly, I feel like it's just a bunch of serotonin or something or dopamine. But when I lay down at night, I actually no longer stress. Like you heard it in a previous video. Stress-free lifestyle. That's what this leads to. In all honesty, I don't know why, but when I lay down at night, I feel that everything is okay. Um, obviously not in the like, you know, best financial situation in the fucking world, but like, hey, I know that everything is taken care of in a sense. And even if everything wasn't taken care of, I know that I have my own back. Um, I'm probably going to title this video, It's You in the End. I mean, it, it's always been you in the end. Like, no one else shares your perspective or point of view from your eyes onto this landscape that we call the world. It's just been you. You know, you can verbally speak vibrations into the air to make sounds, but there's always been that voice inside of your head, your conscience. I don't really know what deaf people hear inside of their own mind. I don't even know if they speak words because if they can't really hear words, how could they learn words? But that's a bunch of philosophical shit for another video. <sighs> I'm out of breath. Just got home from, uh, I mean, yeah, just got home from McDonald's. Check out my bike. It's pretty tight. Got the, the light, you got the electronic motor running this shit you got the lcd screen it's a pretty cool bike i fucks with it. it gets me from point a to point b also 100 miles of charge so not really killing the earth like many other people i feel like a e-bike vegan or some shit i'm like oh i'm not killing the planet as much as you guys ain't nobody give a fuck except me give like the slightest amount of fucks about the planet so but yeah uh like i've been saying i've just been laying down and feeling all this love not from other people not from myself i just feel like wow what a blessing to be alive and like what a blessing to be young and have the energy to work two jobs like i've been doing like it's actually crazy how I was literally a spoiled grandma's boy for about my whole life from two years old to about 18. Then she died. If you guys watched my first video on the channel, you know that's why I fell into depression. She was the mother that I wanted. She was the mother that I had. She was the only person that ever gave a fuck about me because my biological mother She's a lesbian, like I've said in previous videos, her butch, dykish, you know, derogatory slang terms for manly women that fall in love with other women uh, would just beat the fuck out of me. And I always wanted my mom to stand up for me and she never did. So I, I guess I could kind of say I became red pill from that. But in all actuality, I wasn't red pill. I was just an emasculated feminine boy that knew that nobody would ever have my back like I have my own back. Because I, my whole life I wanted people to stand up for me. But who, who the fuck, like, fuck that shit. Nigga, I'll stand up for myself. That's what this is all about. Having your own back. Looking out for this nigga. Not you guys looking out for me, but look out for yourself. Keep your best interest at mind and in heart. <sighs> But yeah, everything is just fine. Everything is beautiful, man. 
I'm back to my looking at grass shit where I just fall in love with the grand creation that is all around us. What other God could make all of this? Who could make a being like me and you? Like we're supercomputers on bipedal legs. Like what God is doing that dog? Like you have to realize that this is a supercomputer between your two ears. Some of us choose to elaborate on that knowledge that was given to us since birth and others seem to just want to live in mediocrity. Like it's crazy dog. It's crazy G. <sighs> I've been putting my mind to this YouTube thing. Shout outs to all my new subscribers. Almost on that 35 milestone. I'll have a new desktop wallpaper for my background. For those of you who don't know, that's how I keep track of my milestones and my goals for YouTube at least. But yeah, I'm ready. Once I hit 35, we are 65 away from 100. And that'll be a grand milestone in itself. I'm real happy that I'm finally consistent on YouTube. It took me like fucking 10 years. I was a YouTuber back in 2010. Probably before that, I was a little Minecraft, little squeaker on the Xbox with the... For those of you who used to game or do YouTube gaming, I had a HD PVR. Man, shit was crazy. But yeah, I'm back and I'm full-fledged in this shit. So if you guys fuck with the journey, feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. That would be much appreciated. But yeah, those are my little rambles for today. Have your own back. It's only you in the end. And this has been Tristan. I'll see you guys in tomorrow's video. See you.